What's up guys, and thanks for tuning into The School Zone. I have a special video for you today. It's an unboxing video. The mystery box company 1UP Box reached out and decided to collaborate with me for an unboxing series on The School Zone. Of course, I was very flattered and I told them I would do one better. Instead of just doing an ordinary unboxing video that you might see on other channels, I plan to do trivia unboxings, similar to the way I do trivia walkthroughs of your favorite video games. Just a little something extra to make up for being behind the camera and not in front of it. So not only will you get to see all the exciting gear and goodies that arrive in the box, but I'll give you guys cool factoids about each of the items displayed. Therefore, as usual on the school zone, you get entertained and you get smarter at the same time. So in case you've never seen an unboxing video before, mystery boxes are subscription packages that come in the mail filled with random merch from the uh, pop culture and geek gaming community. You basically sign up on their website to receive these gift packages and they arrive each month with cool gear to collect and wear and display and what have you. And very often the items are limited edition collectibles that you can't find anywhere else. But before we jump into the unboxing, if you want to get these gift boxes for yourself, there's a link in the description below that'll both give you a special discount on your order and help the school zone out a little bit. Yep, that's right, awesome swag for you and you get me a tiny step closer to doing YouTube full time. It's a win-win situation. So click that special link in the description below and use the coupon code SCHOOLZONE for your bonus discount. Now I just wanted to add real quick that 1UP Box hasn't told me what to say for anything in this video. They were really cool to just leave all the creativity in my hands. So what I'm about to say is nothing scripted from them. Just wanted to be honest about all that, but here's why I'm excited about 1UP Box. First of all, they're far less expensive than their competitors. That's a huge plus if you're just wanting to dip your toes in the waters with this whole mystery collection concept. Second of all, they have some really nice gear. No quality is compromised because of their lower price point. They sent me a sample box last month and it had some fantastic collectibles. I was very impressed. They guarantee five to seven items in every box with a combined value of over $40 for basically a quarter of that price. And every box always comes with a t-shirt too. I mean, that by itself is worth the price of the box. Lastly, they're very responsive with customer service and they provide tracking numbers for your shipments and all that. Gives you that sense of confidence that everything is professional and on point. And one more thing before we jump into it that I think you guys will appreciate. Most of the items in the box I'll keep for myself because, you know, they're just that awesome. But any items I don't think I can use or aren't up my alley, I'm going to collect in a special Christmas box. At the end of the year, I'm going to take that big box of toys and visit the local children's hospital here in LA. I'll take it to the kids in the long-term care ward and brighten their holidays with all the items I've set aside throughout the year. And I'll probably vlog the visit so you guys can see all the smiles on their faces when I hand out the toys. I think it'll be a really special thing to do, you know? Makes me get a little misty eyed just thinking about the joy I'll be able to bring them with a visit. And maybe I'll even dress up like Santa or something so I can have someone else film it. You know, we'll see, but it'll be fun. Okay, on to the unboxing. You'll see I shot this on my camera phone, so you'll have to forgive me if it's not movie quality. I'll do my best to polish the audio in post and maybe add some stabilization to the video so it's not too shaky and all that. One of these days when I can afford it, I'll get some actual professional camera equipment, but until then, you gotta make do with what you got. So here's what the box looks like. It's sitting on my nice little video workstation here. Some of you who have watched my older videos may have seen my setup already. I like it clean and clutter free. And you'll probably notice a few Asian knickknacks and stuff. I'm big into the martial arts, so that's the reason for all that. In fact, look who we got here. <gasps> it's Jackie Jen, what's up? <laughs> he looks down over me like my muse when I'm working and all that. All right, let's dig into the box. Here's the explanation card that comes with the box. Each month features a certain theme, and this month's theme is The Force. I presume that means the items will revolve heavily around Star Wars, which is awesome because Star Wars is my favorite movie franchise of all time, so I'm super psyched. I'm gonna start with the small items and work our way up. The smallest item in the box is like a little button here. Looks sort of like Kung Fu Panda punching the button. Not positive it's Kung Fu Panda though, so we'll move on to the next item. We have a Darth Vader notepad here, very cool. I definitely take a lot of notes when I'm recording episodes in case I need to add any pop-up factoids and posts. So I'll definitely be using this. His speech bubble here says, uh, I find your lack of notes disturbing. <laughs> so that's a spin on the popular line from the original Star Wars movie where he force chokes Admiral Mahdi and says, uh, I find your lack of faith disturbing. I I'm not gonna do the James Earl Jones voice, but classic Star Wars quote. So here are a few interesting factoids you may not have known about Darth Vader. Although Darth Vader was the first character George Lucas created for the Star Wars series, he wasn't originally supposed to have that iconic helmet. Lucas had envisioned him as a Sith. He was also not originally envisioned as Luke's father. That was added in Empire. And the reason you never see him use that force lightning power like the Emperor is uh, supposedly because it's being blocked by his mechanical suit. 
So interesting stuff there. Okay, well, moving up the food chain, we have a Rubik's Cube keychain. <laughs> no pun intended. It looks like it might even be some Suicide Squad characters on it, but I'm not positive about that. So instead, I'll give you guys some cool factoids about Rubik's Cubes. So the Rubik's Cube was invented in 1974 by artist and architect Emo Rubik. He originally built it to use as a geometry model for one of his classes that he taught in Hungary, but it took him over a month to solve it once he had shifted it around. But it went on to become the highest selling puzzle toy in history, so he won in the end. This is fun. All right, moving on to the Super Mouth Mask. Kind of reminds me of the mouth on the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> Not sure about that, but I can give you some factoids about these face masks. I actually posted a picture of a watchdog's face mask that I bought on my Instagram page if you want to go check that out, it's pretty cool. But anyway, the concept comes from surgical masks that doctors use. They not only protect the patient from anything bacterial flying out of the surgeon's nose or mouth into open wounds, but they also protect the surgeon from fluid splashing up in his face. However, they also protect ordinary citizens from environmental contaminants. You'll often see people in China wearing them because of the smog or people in Japan wearing them, you know, just to fend off the flu. They've become sort of trendy in recent years, actually, and now you have these decorated ones. So they're not just used for costume parties or protests. And next we have this little Star Wars plushie. Now this is cool. According to the info sheet, there are eight possible ones that you could get. I actually would have loved to get an R2-D2 plushie or Chewie, but this is very cool too. So in this particular case, I can give you some cool factoids about stormtroopers. So George Lucas drew the inspiration for stormtroopers from the German World War I stormtroopers. They were trench warfare infiltration specialists. Now in the Star Wars movies, contrary to popular belief, the stormtroopers are not actually clones. They're conscripted soldiers from a variety of planets. All right, and last but not least, the t-shirt. Coolness. Looks sort of like a BB unit being ridden by something that actually kind of looks like the mask mouth now that I look at it more closely. And then dragging a little 3PO unit behind him. Very cute. So, you know, my mind is drawing a blank as to what creature that is riding the BB unit. If any of you think you might have an idea, feel free to share it below. But anyway, notice that I called the droids BB unit and 3PO unit instead of BB-8 or C-3PO. That's because those were specific characters in the films. 3PO units are actually a subcategory of the larger category of protocol droids. And the BB units are a subcategory of astromech droids. You know, in case you didn't know the distinction. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for my first trivia unboxing. That was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well and maybe learned a little something, too. And as with all my trivia videos on the School Zone, feel free to add your own factoids down in the After School Club below. I'll be showcasing more awesome collectibles each month going forward, culminating with that Christmas toy giveaway at the end of the year. Oh, and these videos will be part of my After School Specials playlist, since that playlist includes things like holiday videos, events, and unboxings, and things like that. And remember, if you want to get a huge discount on a box of your own and help the channel out in the process, then be sure to use that coupon code SCHOOLZONE when you order. So thanks again for watching, and be sure to give the video a quick like and share it around anyone you know who might want to get that bonus discount for themselves. And we'll see you next time on The School Town. Peace out.